Good morning students. Welcome once again to your history class. Students, in the previous class we saw that new sea routes were discovered by European sailors. These sea routes were used for trade with Asian countries. Many Europeans began to establish trading companies in Asia and India. Today, let us see how these traders gradually became so powerful that they turned into rulers. Trade between Europe and Asia flourished once again after the discovery of new sea routes. Many traders in Europe came forward to trade with Asian countries since it was profitable. But it was difficult to do so single-handedly. Thus, many traders came together and formed trading companies for the purpose of trade. Trade with Oriental, that is Eastern countries, was profitable and brought economic prosperity to Europe. Now European rulers began to show interest in these companies and encouraged trade by providing military protection and trade concessions to them. This in turn brought huge profits to Europe. These profits earned served as capital for the development of new companies. What do we mean by the term capital? Capital is the wealth or money that is invested in business with a view to earn profits. All this led to rise of capitalist economic system in Europe. What is capitalist economic system? A system where property or wealth began to be used in the form of capital for the development of trade and trade related activities. Students, we studied about how the British established 13 colonies on the east coast of America. When one country takes full political control of an area or a region in another country, that region becomes a colony. I repeat, when one country takes full political control of an area or a region in another country, that region becomes a colony. The African and Asian countries captured the attention of European nations since they were rich in natural resources. European nations like England, France, Portugal were economically and militarily powerful in those times. They started grabbing control over Asian countries including India and African countries by force and converted them into their colonies in order to exploit their resources. This policy of European nations of converting potentially weak countries into colonies came to be known as colonialism. European trading companies gradually began to establish such colonies in many pockets of Asia and Africa. Gradually, the number of colonies increased and entire countries were controlled by European rulers. This was called imperialism. Many African and Asian countries, including India, became the victims to these imperialist policies of European nations and thus lost their freedom. Children, do you think the Europeans policies of colonialism and imperialism were fair and ethical? Certainly not. No country has a right to take away freedom 
from other countries for their selfish motives. Let us see how the British extended their control in India. India, being rich in forest resources, minerals and spices, offered great profits in trade for European nations. Thus, there began a competition between European nations to acquire the monopoly or complete authority with sole rights to trade with India. It was through the East India Company, a trading company, that the British started carrying out their trade with India. The company took permission from Emperor Jahangir and established its factory in Surat. Are there any foreign companies working at present in India? There are nearly 3,200 foreign companies that are working in India at present. IBM, Nestle, Apple, Coca-Cola, Microsoft to name a few. In those days, it was through the East India Company that the trade between England and India was carried out. That's all for today, children. We will learn more about the foundation of British rule in India in our next class. Now, read the lesson with the help of study cloud videos whose links are provided in the PDF file that is attached below. After reading the lesson, write down the questions and answers given in the PDF file neatly in your notebook or note sheet. Get your work signed by your parents. Thank you.